Hey, babe, there's something missing from here. You mean like this? That's perfect. All right, I'll start looking then. So we started researching, and almost immediately, we found a pedestal leg. This is the one that we're going with. We believe this is the one Jayco uses, or at least it's the same style. So let's open it up and show you what's inside. There's not much. <laughs> <laughs> you have the base plate that will mount to the floor, right here. What we like about this is when it's mounted, it's kind of flush. I mean, it's not really sticking up high. You got something that kind of come up a little bit. We didn't want that. This is the one that we wanted, so that worked out good. Then you have the piece that will go underneath the cockpit table. Oh, actually, we'll go like this. <laughs> and the screws for both pieces. Then the leg itself, oh yeah, there wasn't much. Now the way this works is it counterclockwise to loosen, clockwise to tighten. These three tabs right here are going to go into the three slots for them right there. So let's just say you're setting up. Come over, pull the cap off, take the leg, line it up, turn it, and then counterclockwise, tighten this. See? Now it's holding. Then when this is mounted to a tabletop, it's just going to fit right on top. Voila, it's done. <laughs> now, as far as what table you're gonna go with, yeah, we looked around. Um, Charlotte, you wanna take this? So we had some trouble finding a tabletop that we liked. Some were just too pricey, and some were just not what we were looking for. So we found this 24 by one inch round piece of wood at Home Depot for about 10 bucks. So we're gonna stain it, a dark wood stain, to accent what's inside the RV. So we stained the tabletop. Now we just have to add some polyurethane. And as you can see, our dining room table became our staining and polyurethane table. But you can go back to a dining room table now because the last coat of poly has been applied. I think it looks great, what do you think, hon? I love it. All right, let's put this together then. So the next step in our procedure was to come to Middlebury, Indiana, <laughs> to, to where Maggie is so we could do the install. What I did is I found center, and then I came around off of it, and I went, it worked out to be eight and a half inches all around. So what we did then, we held it down and we marked where all the screw holes are going to go. So it looks like that. It's spotted. So we're going to just drill a pilot hole and then we're going to mount the table base. You don't want to go all the way through. Now we're just going to mount the table base. Pine is a very soft wood, <laughs> so you do not want to drill too far through it. Just stopping these now, make sure that all the holes lined up. I probably could have went with a little bit bigger of a pilot hole. That's all right, again, soft wood. So if you're doing this and one side comes out better than the other, then you know which one is going to be the top. <laughs> the next step we're going to put on the floor base. What we did is we measured between the pedestals and found center. Then we actually mounted the table on the base plate and Cheryl and I sat here. <laughs> we figured out just how far from the doghouse we wanted it and that ended up being four inches. So that's where it's going to go. So we're just going to drill the holes and mount that. All right, so we're not going to drill a pilot hole because of the carpeting. We're just going to see if this will go through or not. All right, it'll be easier than I thought. Just apply pressure, go right through the carpeting into the subfloor. There you go. Next step, line the tabs up with the holes for the tabs. Turn it, and then turn this clock, uh, counterclockwise <laughs> to tighten. There you go, you got a pretty good table right there. There's the finished product. And this is what it looks like when not in use. Yeah. I mean, your foot will just slide right over it easily. It's not obstructive. I mean, moving around is not a problem. There you go, cockpit table. We just opened up two more spaces to have friends come over and hang out in the RV with us. There's a place that can hold their drinks and snacks. Now you can go to the dealer and order one, like you've seen in other RVs. Why? This is cheap. <laughs> the hardest part of this job was finding the tabletop. Home Depot, description box down below, will have the item number 
you just go to Home Depot, pick one up. It's like 10 bucks. We'll put a link to the table leg also, and you'll be all set. You can make it whatever color you want. Any color you want, there you go. <laughs> you can do all sorts of stuff to it, but that's beyond the scope of this video. So if you like what you saw, feel like you learned something, we'd appreciate that thumbs up as always. And if you haven't subscribed to us yet, I don't know why you're not, but right down there on the corner, press that button. There's also a bell. If you click on that bell, you'll be notified every time we put a video up. You could be one of the first ones to see it. <laughs> Other than that, feel free to share this video and comment on it. Because until we do another one, I'm Chuck. And I'm Cheryl. We'll get going with us. Bye. See ya.